Hey, hey, insight number five. So we're going to go to Deuteronomy 34.10. This is then definitely in the appendix. Moses has... Moses has departed. They watched him walk up the mountain. Their prophet, their leader, the man they loved. The man who had delivered them and helped them no matter how much he they had accused him of, Yo, you've led us out here to die again. He forgave them and loved them over and over and over. Um, and this, this particular verse pretty much says it all. And I just... It makes me sad, and I will get into that. Let's read it first. It, it gets to me, and I'll tell you why, but let's read the scripture first. It says, And there arose not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. Um, I did see a question saying, you know, if the Lord didn't have a body by then, how could he know him face to face? Well, because spirits still look like bodies, don't they? Um <laughs> doesn't mean that the Lord looked like a cloud and you know yeah if that's what you're thinking spirits look like bodies um and just don't have a body yet so you can still know them face to face he still has a face it still looked like Jesus um anyway as I say okay Moses covenant keeper he knew the Lord face to face so I get tears when I read these verses, I think partly because I really feel the struggle of Moses and empathize with his experience, his whole experience, but also because of all the amazing people I've had the privilege of knowing, and still know, there's still some there, who so willingly share their testimony and help guide me and continue to help guide me. I miss them, I miss some of them in their council, the ones that have passed on, I miss them, I miss their council. I miss their strength because it falls on me now to be a strength for those coming up and there are days that I don't feel very strong and all the strength I have I know comes from Christ oh see so I told you I'd cry sorry <laughs> um, but they willingly shared their testimony and helped guide me they so willingly did and their sicknesses and their illnesses and their struggles they took time for me I miss them um, they knew Christ, perhaps not quite like Moses did and does. Yet I owe them so much to their souls. They knew Christ personally through the struggles they'd been through. Um, there was only ever one Moses. But aren't you grateful for all he did? And who has been a Moses in your life? Who has guided you and helped you continually, no matter how many times you mucked up? Like actual, other than Christ, like a person on earth who took time, no matter how sick they were, if they were stuck in their beds, whatever they had going on, who always stopped and gave you some time for whatever it was you needed. However petty and silly it might have seemed to everyone else, Probably them as well. They didn't care. They just loved you. So who's been a Moses in your life? Think about that. And if they're still alive, maybe go thank them. <laughs> thank them for doing this for you. Um, do it with words so they know. Because people who know Christ like that are a treasure and perhaps they didn't know him exactly like Moses did face to face. Maybe some of them did. I don't know. Maybe you know people that did. I, I know one that definitely knew Christ face to face. Yeah. And I'm so grateful for their time that they took to help me. That I didn't really appreciate fully until my, much later in life. So yeah. Who has been a Moses in your life? Go and thank them with words. That's my advice there. Um, Exodus 33.11 is the one that I've put as a thought for this because it just says it beautifully. Um, and the Lord spake unto Moses face to face as a man speaketh unto his friend. Don't you want to be friends like that with Christ? I sure do. I want to have conversations just like that. And I do, except that he's not here face to face with me. Um, that I can see anyway. But I know he hears me. 
but yeah it's pretty cool um some interesting things about Moses let's try and make this better so I, I put the picture from the come follow me manual in my book because I like that one um it just it just makes him look regal but he's still he's he's worn you know he's tired so interestingly Moses was 40 years a prince he spent 40 years as a shepherd and a pastor, and he spent 40 years a prophet, overcoming trials, personal weaknesses, while performing nobly his ministry. The prophet meant for this people and this time, that time. Just like our prophet right now, as I said in last week's insight, is meant for this time. And what a great prophet we have, and I'm pretty sure he knows Christ face to face. Can't explain how, I just, I just know that he does, and I'm grateful that we're led by that. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully something has inspired and uplifted you. Maybe you can even be that kind of person. You can be a Moses for someone. To take time to have that patience and that strength and to know the Lord and to share that with someone else. To really embrace that in your life. Yeah, that's what this week was about. Words for the people. Carry them in your heart. Wear them on your wrists put them up where you can see them i love you guys thank you for joining me i'll see you next week as we get into the book of joshua mm. joshua leads them into the promised land it's pretty cool all right love you guys see you next week be safe out there Mwah.